we are going to begin the hands-on uh, session on k omega and uh, this session uh, will be uh, conducted by mr abushan once again so abushan if you're ready you can start okay let's start the next hands-on session using spoken tutorial so till now i think you you have done the hands-on session on pipe flow simulation uh, this is added on top of it now you will simulate uh, the same pipe flow but you will add turbulence modeling on it so i'm providing link for that uh, spoken tutorial in the chat just follow it and if you have some doubt just put it put on the chat mm, yes uh, so for me it is showing the missing destination file open after home other downloads uh sorry uh select share my screen sir. yeah you can share it that is because you are in your own directory it is yeah. in download section yeah it is in download we have to extract it extract then uh i think you missing the period after like the destination is not been specified so you first extracted so it is not in uh, your yeah. hmm. Uh, yeah, extracted. So when this is done, you have to copy this. Uh, go inside. So you have to copy. You have to extract this as well. Uh, shall I copy all this? Yeah. Uh, first extract one. Then extract K omega or K epsilon. Um, next. Hmm. Uh, let me uh, wait. I'm not able to see your screen. Okay, you can you copy this to your download. Yeah, you can copy this here, or you can just copy it at your run also. Okay. Okay. Now go to your terminal. Okay, I'm gonna provide you some command. Uh, can you show me a terminal? See, I provided you a command that that will uh, mount your C drive, and then you can go to your download directory. But you have to replace that readme with your CPU name. Got it? Uh, okay. Uh, after CP, I have to. No, no. Uh, first, you have to go to the directory. You are, right now you are in the run directory. You have to go to the directory which contains your files. That is, k epsilon and k omega. Or, or you can do this one thing. Uh, it is this. Type. It is all of them. Type explorer dot exe space dot. This check the spelling. It's it is mistake. Explorer. You have yeah. Space dot dot. Press enter. Okay, now copy those file here. I think it is already copied. You just have to paste it. Okay, now you can access this file uh, from here from your run thing only. You, you can use the terminal now. Okay. Now you can if you do cd k epsilon, you will go inside k epsilon. Okay. Okay. Neha, can you present your screen? Okay, I think you have uh, opened the wrong. uh this thing terminal root instead of ubuntu 18.05 you might have in installed multiple version of 
close this and go to the search bar. Uh, close this thing. Uh, once again, go to the, close this thing. Close both of them. Go to the search bar. Type Ubuntu. So I see you have only one Ubuntu app. Okay. Click on it. Uh, were you properly able to do other tutorials? So yesterday I did, but not today. Okay, what happened today? Today, when I opened, it's opened like this only. Okay. Uh, this is actually a root. This is a different WSL. Okay. You might have installed more than one WSL in your system. No, sir. Only one. Only one. Okay. Yes. So, uh, are you able to carry out the tutorials in this? No, sir. Do you have open form installed here? Uh, yes, I have installed it. Sir, if I'm writing this. Now I am. So now, now you should be able, yeah, okay. Now you should be able to. Uh, Use it, I think. Yeah. But uh, permanently, I'm not getting this. Okay. Yes. If I close it and again open it, I will be in root only. Okay, it's okay. If you are able to use it like this, then you can. Okay. Okay. Sir, in a spoken tutorial, it is saying download code files. How can you download code files, sir? Uh, go to the website and on the right side at the bottom. Click on code files. You just have to click on it and it will download it for you. Uh, hello, sir. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, after typing notepad.exe system block direct, it is coming uh, uh, no such file or directory is found. So, are you sure uh, you have typed it correctly? The command, spelling, and everything? You can present your screen. Like I think the M should be lowercase. Okay. Or you can just type like block and then um, hit tab and it will auto complete it for you. Yeah, if you want to uh, do less spelling mistake, you can just use tab instead of typing the whole command. So if you press tab, it will complete it, it for you, Madhav. Uh, I'm fine, but uh, it is not happening. Like. Uh, let's see the no, D is capital. So how to copy a command sir? here? Uh, if I'm right clicking, it is not happening. You can press the up arrow, and uh, I mean you can just press the the up arrow button in your keyboard. Uh, it is giving a sound, but nothing coming. The M is capital uh, again. Yeah. Now press enter. Uh, maybe just like type ls system. Uh, let's see what's in the. Uh, just type, type LS. ls. Yeah. Yeah, you need to go into k epsilon and then uh, cd k epsilon. Yeah, I mean, right. like, you can stop presenting now. I think it's the same commands. Uh -huh. uh, it should work.
those students who have completed the tutorials can they raise their hand hello uh, yes we can test uh, yes sir but uh, i am typing the second code sir but it's showing no file cp dot it's downloaded okay because, uh, you have not copied it uh, don't worry i'll teach, teach you how to do it now okay sir. so even if you uh, have we don't able to complete the tutorial don't worry i'm going to show you guys how to do it now you guys can just follow me and if you have any uh, question just ask us in the chat so i have downloaded yeah. the code file from the website there are three code files uh, you don't need to do all of them but if you have done it then nice since uh, the previous tutorial was on k omega i'm going to use just the k omega one uh, to show you guys so i have extract this extracted this k omega and now it is in my download uh, folder okay and this download folder is in my windows however in my double sl i am inside my double sl now there is no download or any such thing in my double uh, sl so i have to physically go to this k omega directory if i want to simulate this so for this we have to use this command for uh, cd space slash mnt mnt stands for mount so what it will do is it will mount my c drive so inside my c drive which is here and inside my users and inside my pc name that is regmi you will found find that there is a, a download folder here download folder so you just have to give path of this c user regmi download after the mount so when I click on that, and when I uh, give this command and press enter, this makes you that you might not have the name Regmi. Your PC might have its own name. And after entering this command, now I am in my download directory. Now, if I do ls, there is bunch of thing in my uh, download. So I don't want to see that. Uh, but I do know that I have already copied my K Omega file in my download. So I'm just going to do CD and go to K, uh, K, small O, okay, K Omega. So when I press enter, I'm inside my K Omega file. Now, if I do LS, I have zero constant and system in my K Omega. So here now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys the block mistake so notepad third exe system block mistake so we have a uh, two block and these are the vertices and in, in each one of the block we are using expansion ratio so that we get a uh, grading in our mesh that has a fine number of mesh near the wall and we have, these are the boundaries, lower wall, upper wall, inlet and outlet. Since this is a 2D simulation, our front and back is kept empty and we are not using merge patch pair. Uh, merge patch pair is used to combine two different blocks. If they, if they doesn't share the same vertex, uh, this is for advanced thing, but we don't, we, uh, we are not using this here right now. And Bhushan, just a minute. This is Joseph. You said just now you said for 2D, we are keeping what is the condition in block mesh for 2D since we, we are doing this in empty. 2D. Empty. Empty. Which are the faces we need to keep it empty? Uh, the, the faces that is perpendicular to us. Like, okay, okay, okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Thank you. So let's go to the turbulence properties. So initially in turbulence properties, uh, when you are doing laminar simulation, here there would be simulation type laminar and you there would not be anything. Even if there were these uh, parameters, open foam will, would simply ignore this. Now we have RAS and inside RAS, we are using model K Omega. Okay, I'm gonna close this file. Now let's look at the uh, zero. 
file. So inside zero, we have u for velocity, k naught and omega. So previously we used to provide boundary condition for only u and p. Now we need to provide one for k naught and omega as well. So let's open one of them. So here is the uh, boundary condition for k, which is which stands for turbulent intensity. And this value you can calculate uh, through empirical relation. This is uh, more information is provided on our spoken tutorials. There is an additional reading material section. So if you go to the same website and you scroll down, you will see code files, then script, then slides, and at the very bottom, you will see additional reading materials. From there, you can find out how we calculated this intensity thing. And outlet is kept zero gradient. And we have we are providing some wall function in upper and lower wall. And as usual, front and back is kept empty because this is a 2D simulation. Now for not, we are just using calculated. So based on the value of uh, K, it will calculate the not from that value. And on the wall, we are providing not K wall function. I'm sorry, uh, could you tell me what is this uh, N U T? So this is a wall function that we are providing here. No, this this variable N U T this folder N U T stands for, velocity. for turbulence uh, viscosity. New means new the viscosity mu T. So okay, okay. in the while solving K omega, uh, if you have if you remember the lecture that was taught to you previously, so do you, we are solving for omega transport equation for omega and uh, transport equation for mu T. So it is just that that parameter. Okay, thanks. And similarly for omega, again we are using empirical relation to calculate this value. You can refer to the additional reading material. And uh, in the previous lecture also you were taught how to calculate this very value, I think. And in outtake we are giving zero gradient, and we are using wall function in upper and lower wall and front and back is kept empty. Okay, now I will run the simulation. First, I will do block mesh. This would mess uh, my geometry. Now I'm gonna do uh, simple form. So my simulation is running. I'll just wait for some time to for it to complete. Okay, my simulation has completed. So to view the result, first I'm going to create my dummy file that is result dot form, and if I do explorer dot exe. Dot. This time it should open my download and k, k omega that is inside download because I'm in that directory. So here I am. I'll just click on this thing. And when I click and apply, you can see our geometry. And this is our pressure. But this is at time step 50. Okay. Now we'll go to time step 100. I will click on this thing. Uh, this is called rescale to data range. Whenever you have a, a simulation that has different uh, ranges of values. So in initially at 50, our range is different. And at 1000, our the range minimum maximum value of 3 is different. So it will rescale my data according to the minimum and maximum of that time step. Now this is my pre-profile and this is my uh, U-profile. I will just zoom in so that you can see it clearly. Here again, I think I have to do the rescale data to range. Oh, it is already done. 
So let's view the uh, profile. I'm going to click on this thing, uh, plot over line, and click on the y-axis, and then click on apply. So if you want to see U magnitude, this is the U magnitude. So you may have noticed that in case of uh, laminar flow, our profile was parabolic, but now we don't have parabolic, we have something else. So when there is a turbulent flow, this is the profile that we get. And similarly, if you want to see P, this is the profile that we get for pressure. Now I'm actually viewing my uh, profile at the middle. I'm just assuming that uh, the flow is fully deployed by middle. Uh, if you want to know more about where the flow is fully developed or not. Uh, in the spoken tutorial, it was mentioned. So this is the end of the spoken tutorial. Uh, if you were not able to follow the spoken tutorial, uh, this session will be provided to you. You can go back again and do the same time at your leisure. Meanwhile, if you have any question, you can type in the chat box or ask us. Sir, uh... In laminar and turbulence, which one is uh, more realistic? Uh, I don't understand what do you mean by realistic because both like of them you, are... You saw that both have, having the different uh, velocity profile, right? Okay, it depends so, on your Reynolds number. So if your Reynolds number is uh, very low, you don't need to carry out turbulence uh, simulation. The laminar simulation is sufficient and it is accurate. But if your Reynolds number is very high, then your laminar simulation will not be accurate. In this case, you will need to do turbulent simulation. So for very high Reynolds number, whether the simulation will stop in between or it, it will some it will give some garbage value. Uh, what do you mean by stop in between? Like, like suppose uh, we are simulating the simulation with very high Reynolds number okay. uh, with laminar model, not the turbulence model. So, so in okay. that case, uh, whether the laminar model will work or not? In that case, uh, depending on your problem, if your problem is very uh, like simple, it may work, but the value will be garbage. So you are just doing garbage in, garbage out. So if your problem is complex, then what happens is that you will not get convergence. Your simulation, the resid value of the residual, if you check, it will be very high, relatively higher than the one in laminar case. Someone is asking how to get professor profile drop. Okay, I'm gonna show it. Okay, I hope my screen is uh, visible to everyone. Okay. So this is my pressure. So if I want to uh, find out the how my pressure changes gradually along the uh, flow direction, I'm gonna again click on plot over line and click on, uh, but this time, instead of clicking on Y axis, I'm gonna click on X axis because my X axis aligns with my flow direction. So if I click on X axis and click on apply, I'm gonna remove a bunch of useless parameters that I don't want to see because I only want to see pressure. Okay, so this is how my Pressure drops. So add my inlet pressure is high, and you can see it is dropping somewhat linearly, and it reaches the value of zero. I think zero is the pressure that we provided at the outlet. So based on that, it is actually calculated calculating the pressure at inlet and other uh, part in the domain. I hope that answers your question. Hello, uh, this I have a question regarding the residuals like in the morning session. Okay. So, do you uh, uh, the maximum number of iterations in one of the demonstrations were put as ten? So yeah. How do we fix that number like ten? Is it some trial and error or? So like... yeah, it's a trial and error. By default, the maximum number of iteration is actually thousand. Uh, it was put ten just only for the demonstration. So if you put 10 or five, that is a very low value. So what happens is that your inner iteration will complete faster. The result that will you will get will be a garbage out. 
in in such case so it was only for the purpose of demonstration uh generally by default it is at 1000 and 1000 is sufficient so before 1000 it should converge does that answer your question yeah okay thank you thank you so much okay now uh, i will close this session uh panel yes 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 thanks a lot uh, avishan